Mesh Wi-Fi systems are the way to go when you're setting up your home Wi-Fi network. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at TP-Link's Deco X20, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So setting up a mesh network is gonna be such a better experience than setting up Wi-Fi extenders. And with technology progressing, we're starting to see more and more Wi-Fi 6 become available and more affordable. So in this video, we're taking a look at TP-Link's Deco X20, and I wanna thank TP-Link for sending this unit out for me to review. Now, for the most part, Wi-Fi routers from all of the big companies out there like TP-Link, Linksys, Eero, Google, all of those names are gonna be good, reliable devices that have good speed and good range. But what's really gonna set them apart are gonna be their apps and the features built into those apps. So those are some of the features we're gonna be covering in today's video, in addition to checking the speed and also the range, because not only do I want good coverage inside of my house, but I also want some good coverage in the yard too. So we will be testing that out. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's get started. So I wanna start by taking a look at some of the features that are advertised on the box. We can see that this is TP-Link's Deco line of routers. This thing can connect up to 150 devices, has fast Wi-Fi speeds, seamless roaming, which is what we're looking for in a mesh network, easy to set up. Now this covers 5,800 square feet, which is ideal for a four to six bedroom house. We can see up in the top corner that this is the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology, which is always nice to future-proof your home Wi-Fi network. In addition to those features, we've also got TP-Link's home care. Now this is gonna be things like parental control, antivirus that is built into the router itself, and then we've also got the quality of service, so you can choose which devices you want to have faster speeds than others. And we'll be taking a look at those features in the app a little bit later. Now inside the box comes with the three Deco devices. In addition to that, you're also gonna get three power supplies and one ethernet cable. Now setting this up was really easy to do. You're gonna download the TP-Link Deco app, get a profile set up. You're then gonna plug one of the routers into your cable modem, follow the on-screen instructions to get that one set up and named. And then with the other two points, all you have to do is plug them in and they're automatically going to connect to the one access point that you initially set up. So setting up was really easy to do. You can also check signal strength, move the devices around where you need to to get the best coverage. Now, one of my favorite things about each of these devices is that each device has two network ports. So you can connect your mesh Wi-Fi network wirelessly, but if you have something that needs to be plugged into an ethernet cable, say a TV or like a PC behind me, you can plug that directly into the access point to simulate a network port. Now it's not gonna be as fast if you had it plugged into your actual router, but doing it this way allows me to have this PC here plugged in through an ethernet cable without having to buy a wireless card for it. And you can do that for other devices that need to be plugged in, say like a TV or my Philips Hue bridge that always has to be plugged in, doesn't have wireless capabilities. Okay, so now let's do a range and speed test. I do have one of the access points here in the office with me. If you take a look at my TP-Link status, we see that I have full bars with connection to that one right there. So now let's do a speed test. Go over to the speed test and we're gonna do an IP speed test to see the speeds that I'm gonna be able to get from that. And that's pretty decent. Actually, that's really good. I'm happy with that one right there. I mean, that's close to 200. Yeah, that's 190 up, about 190 down. So that is great. But like I said, I'm also right next to it here. Let's now go out into the backyard and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna test the up and download speed and we're also gonna see what kind of range I'm getting. So being out in the backyard, it's gonna be about 50 feet from the closest access point. So we're gonna see the kind of range and speed I'm gonna get from there. All right, we're outside recording in the yard. I'm the farthest out that I can get. I wanted to show you guys the signal service that I have. So the router is about 40 feet away. You can see that I am down a bar right there. Oh, it looks like it's fluctuating between the two, but let's do a speed test to see what kind of speed I am getting from this thing. So we'll bring up our speed test here. Let's see what we're getting. 
All right, so about half probably of what we're getting in the house. In the house, we're getting about 190. Looks like we're getting about 80 here. Like I mentioned, we're about 40 feet away from it in the backyard. This is the farthest I can get to it right now. We do have one wall, a stucco wall in between me and the outside. And that's interesting. Upload speed is only about 22. So upload is down, but I mean, this speed is plenty for being outside. 80 down and 21 up is, is fantastic for me to get in my backyard. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the features in the app. We've got the app loaded up here. It's gonna show all of the devices that are connected to the different access points. You can also see the speeds of what is coming up and what's coming down as far as data. We can see that up at the top it says internet. If you tap on the internet there, it's going to show all of your access points. From there, you can tap on one. I'm gonna tap on the office. It's gonna show me the download and upload speed. In addition to some of the statistics of the device, we see that the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz signal is turned on and we can see what the signal strength is to the main router, which is in the master bedroom. We've got the mesh turned on and then here are all the devices that are connected to it. So desktop, that one there is connected wirelessly to the access point and then also the iPhone at the bottom. So I can actually turn those off if I want to deny access. With the other two, we've got smart lights. That is actually my Philips Hue bridge and that is plugged directly into the back of the access point. And then also the Hub V3, that's gonna be my SmartThings Hub. That is also plugged directly into those. So for those, I can't turn off because they do have a dedicated connection. Would be nice if that was turned on. But uh, let's go ahead and back out of there and go through some of the other settings right here. Um, at the very bottom, we've got different tabs. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the tab for more. We've got things like our Wi-Fi setting. So here we can turn off the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz setting, which I really like. I like that I can turn one of those on and off because I have had issues in the past where I've tried to connect a smart home device to my network that requires just a 2.4 connection. And for some reason, I can't get it to connect. And when I would go into my old system, I didn't have the option of turning one of those off. So it is nice. I like that I can turn off the five gigahertz network if I have a device that has to connect to 2.4. Well, in addition to that, we've also got guest Wi-Fi network. If you look at the very bottom of the screen, it says shake to share. So if I shake my phone like this, it's now asking me which network I wanna share. I can then click on, let's click on guest. And from there, I can select who I want to share it to, either through a text or an airdrop. So those are some cool features right there. Let's go ahead and back out of there. We've got things like an internet speed test. So I'm paying for roughly about a gig up and a gig down. I do have fiber to the house. And this is going to be a speed test of what the main device that is plugged into my cable modem is getting. So this is not the speed that these points around the house are getting. This is gonna be the main one that is plugged in through an ethernet cable. So do keep that in mind. You can run a speed test at any time. We've also got blacklist, update your deco. We've got advanced settings here. So this is going to be doing all of your more advanced network configurations like your DHCP servers, setting up port forwarding, address reservations, different things like that. But here are all the different options that you have in advanced settings. We've also got the WPS, if you need to set something up like that, monthly reporting, and then setting up managers. Now, if we go back down to the very bottom tab where it says home care, I'm gonna click on that and here are the different settings that they have. So we've got antivirus and here are all the different antivirus settings that you can turn on and set up quarantines and filters and different things like that. We've also got parental control. So in parental control here, you're gonna create different profiles. And what you can do is that with that profile, you can assign devices to it. So say I create a profile for my daughter. And actually, let me show you up. So we're gonna go ahead and click on add. I'm gonna enter in my daughter's name, click on done. We're gonna click next. And then you're at the top, you're gonna to select the age group for that kid. Now my daughter is two years old, so if you click on child, it's going to have these different things right here. We've also got preteen, teen, and adult. And then from there, you can go ahead and select things that you want to be blocked for that specific profile. 
So that is cool that you can go in and do different things like that. From there, you're gonna click on next. You can set up time controls and certain bedtimes. So say devices turn off at a certain time of the night to go to bed, or you can do time limits for the week. So that's nice. You're gonna click on next, and it's gonna bring up the different devices that are connected to these networks. You're gonna select the ones that apply to that specific person, and then you can click on done. So for me, I will say, we'll go ahead and click on this one and click on done at the top. And so now that device is associated with that personal profile, and then you can pause and unpause it if you want to. And then lastly down here in the home care, we've got the quality of service. So you can select here if you want standard, gaming, streaming, essentially which category do you want to prioritize over other categories? Um, you can go into custom, here and we can say that uh, we want gaming to be high, we want surfing to be low, we want chatting to be low, and then everything else looks fine and you can save that there too. A uh, lot of different cool features that you can do in this app to control different profiles, family settings. There's a lot of things built into here that I really do like. Well, it's gonna cover about everything in today's video. If you were looking for a home mesh Wi-Fi network that has got a lot of good features built into it, a lot of parental controls, this is gonna be something that you're gonna to want to consider. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.